Assalamualaikum dear students hope you are doing well by the grace of almighty welcome to our NIEVS home school this is Marji Islam assistant teacher of science national ideal english version school morning shift now i am going to take a physics class for class 9 our lecture number 7 sw number 6 and our today's topic is chapter 1 extra cq now start our class extra cq 3 extra cq 3 our question is the smallest division of the main scale of a slight calipers is 1 millimeter and 19 division of the main scale equals 20 division of the vernier scale i repeat this part the smallest deviation of the main scale of a slight calipers is 1 millimeter and 19 division of the main scale equals 20 division of the vernier scale the length of a square shaped object is measured by that scale I repeat here is the term a square shape object a square shaped object is measured by that scale here main scale reading is 15 millimeter vernier coincidence is 16 error in measurement is 5 percent error in measurement is 5 percent c determine the length of the square object determine the length of the square object i repeat the term square object this is square object now go to the c solution here this is the given value the smallest division of the main scale of a slight calipers this is denoted by s equal to one millimeter the smallest division of the main scale of a slight calipers this is denoted by s equal to one millimeter total division of vernier scale this is denoted by n equal to 20 this is our given value look at the steam here the given value the smallest division of the main scale of a slight calipers is equal to 1 millimeter total division of vernier scale n equal to 20 now we know the formula vernier constant it is denoted by vc vernier constant equal to s by n vernier constant equal to s by n now we put the value of s equal to 1 millimeter and put the value of n equal to 20 now after calculating this we get the result 0 0.05 millimeter 0 0.05 millimeter now we know the formula for length l equal to m plus v into vc that means m is main scale reading v is vernier coincidence and vc equal to vernier constant now we put here the value of m value of v and value of vernier constant value of m equal to 15 millimeter and value of v equal to 16 and value of vernier constant equal to 0.05 millimeter after calculating this we get the result the length l equal to 15.8 millimeter 15.8 millimeter now we go to the question d what will be the percentage of error in measuring the area of the square shaped object analyzed mathematically i repeat what will be the percentage of error in measuring the area of the square shaped object i repeat the term square shaped i repeat the term square shaped object analyze mathematically go to the solution here here is the given value the relative error equal to 5% this is the given value 5% now we know the formula relative error relative error equal to absolute error by measured value relative error equal to absolute error by measured value now by crossing multiplication by cross multiplication we get absolute error equal to re relative error multiply measured value now putting uh, now put the value of relative error relative error is five percent here is a given value relative error is five percent and our measured value 15.8 millimeter we get this measured from c we get this measured value from c our measured value is 15.8 millimeter 
now after calculating this we get the result 0 0.79 millimeter now our maximum length this is our absolute error now our maximum length our measured value our measured length is 15.8 plus absolute error is 0 0.79 equal to after calculating this we get 16.59 millimeter this is our maximum length this is our maximum length now minimum length minimum length <coughs> Our, our measured value is 15.8 subtract our absolute error 0 0.79 now we get the result 15.01 millimeter 15.01 millimeter this is the maximum length this is the minimum length now the maximum area for maximum length is 16.59 millimeter into 16.59 millimeter because this is square shaped object because this is a square shaped object now we calculating this we get to 275.23 millimeter square now minimum area minimum area equal to 15.01 millimeter multiply 15.01 millimeter this is our minimum length this is area because this is a square shape area that's why we multiply 15.01 millimeter into 15.01 millimeter now after calculating this we get 225.30 millimeter square now our measured value our measured area we know our measured length 15.8 millimeter we get this length from c part now we may we get now we get the measured area 15.8 millimeter multiply 15.8 millimeter because this is a square shape object after calculating this we get 249.64 millimeter square now our absolute error is subtract 249.64 millimeter square minus 225.30 millimeter square this is this is our measured area this is our measured area and this is our this is our minimum area subtract this we get result 24.34 millimeter square now this is our maximum area and this is our measured area subtract this we get result 25.59 millimeter square since the value are not equal we consider the larger one the absolute error is 20 25.59 millimeter square here 24.34 millimeter square and 25.59 millimeter square the larger one is 25.59 millimeter square now we put this value relative error put this value in relative error here our formula this is our formula of relative error relative error equal to absolute error by measured value now putting the value of absolute error our absolute error is 25.59 millimeter square and our measured value is 249.64 millimeter square after calculating this we get 0 0.1025 now in percentage it is now in percentage it is 0 0.1025 multiply 100 percent after calculating this we get the result 0 0.25 percent that means our result is 0 0.25 percent our today's homework number is 6 our homework is this extra cq number c portion the extra cq number c math is our today's homework you will submit next saturday my dear students hope you have understood today's math see you in the see you again in the next class till then allah hafiz assalamu